this is how you do this. You, this is how, when you, when you walk into a room and you hear that clickety-clank, clickety-clank, it's not, uh, uh, so it's, it's the metals. It's the metals. It's the metals. It's not just one. It's not just two. <laughs> It's four. There we go. It's a little heavy. Two gold, two silver. You're wearing like 50 pounds of hardware around your <laughs> neck 50. right now. I've heard 55 pounds uh, uh, of hardware. This has got to feel good to you. But was there, was there moments where you were standing on that podium like, this is the wildest thing ever? Of course. <laughs> Each time you're on the metal podium, it, it feels pretty wild. It, it feels pretty great. And... You know, you're among the world's best. You're competing against the world's best. Yeah. And you get that moment up there, and you kind of just reflect on all of the people and places you've been and everyone that's helped you get to that point. But, Katie, when you hear somebody say the most decorated female Olympian in the pool, like, that's that has to have a certain kind of weight, <laughs> right? That's got to feel a certain kind of... That's like, a, oh, yeah, how you doing? That's me. Well, yeah, um, it's an honor. It's an honor to represent Team USA, and I have so many great teammates and so many great female swimmers that I've looked up to for so many years, and just to be with them, to be among them, yeah. is a tremendous honor. It's, it's cool because you talk about swimmers that you look, you've looked up to. Is there, is there someone in particular, when you think back on the early days, maybe even before you were really, really in the pool, that you were like, man, this is awesome, and that maybe forged a path for you? Uh, there were so many. I can't just single out one. I would say one right now that who had an incredible Olympics is Allison Schmidt. Uh, she's one of my best friends on the team, and yeah. she just won her 10th medal as well. And so uh, she's had a tremendous career, uh, Olympic career, dating back to the 2008 Olympics. This is her fourth straight. So, so honored to be a part of the past uh, three Olympics with her and uh, to see what she's been able to do. Does it make you think about your legacy at all when you see like your friends doing well the way that they are your peers doing well the way well the way that they are that there's still so much time in this sport provided you want to continue that there is space for you as long as you're willing to do it yeah i i'm always thinking about the future and so the next step would be 2024 and you're talking about parents Oh, we're talking about Paris. You're talking about Paris? I'm talking about Paris. I'm, <laughs> I'm into Paris. Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. So yeah. I'll, I'll set some new goals for myself and, and work my way there. And I know it'll take a lot more hard work, and it's three years away. So, uh, you know, it, it's exciting. It's, it it's is. something that sounds pretty good. It's, it's cool to think about you, right, like also as a kid in Rio, right? Was it, wasn't it Rio? I was 15 in London, I swam. London? Yeah. yeah like, I mean... <laughs> 15, think about that. Being 15 as an Olympian competing mm -hmm. in London. It was like, pretty cool. And it was really cool today. I was swimming the 800 free next to my teammate who was 15, named Katie, Katie Grimes. And she got fourth place. And that's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. Do you, when you think back, like, to your want times, <laughs> right, do you, do you, do you, have you linked that kind of, idea for success for yourself, that vision of success for yourself, to the achievement that you are experiencing now? For, of course. I think I, I look back and I love the sport from such a young age, and I love the training and yeah. the work that it took uh, to get to my want times and yeah. now to my goals at the Olympics. It, it's the same work ethic that I think I developed from a young age, and I was that kid that got to practice 20 minutes early or 30 minutes early and just hung out on deck before it was time to get in. I, I never showed up late, still never show up late, wow. come to every practice, and I just love it. It's, it's, it's cool to, to, to stand here with you as one of the women representing Team USA, right, in the most diverse Olympic Games so far, in a Games where there are more women than ever competing. What do you think your impact Right, like not just your medals, but your your the idea, the significance of you competing in these games. What do you think that will be for young people years from now? I hope it inspires a lot of people. Um, I th I think I remember watching the Olympics from a young age, and personally, I didn't think I would ever make it to the Olympics when I first started swimming. Huh. When I watched these Olympians, I thought you had to be some sort of superhero, and I had no interest in 
figuring out how you even qualify for the Olympics. <laughs> but as I got older, I got closer and closer to qualifying. I started stepping up, you know, from the zone level to the sectional level, level to the junior national level, senior national Olympic trials. And I could just feel it getting closer and closer. And so I hope a lot of young kids are inspired to work their way up and in whatever it is they're passionate about, whether that's swimming, whether that's another sport, whether that's school, whether yeah. that's a specific subject in school, some other activity, uh, an instrument, whatever it is, uh, I found something that I love. I found something that I'm pretty good at, and I pretty tried good. to be the best that I could be at it. Pretty good at it. <laughs> Pretty hey, good you're at pretty it. good at what you do. I'll, I'll take it, but I don't have no medal around my well, neck. Well, you should have a medal. You, you heard it here. You want a medal? You want to put a medal? Yeah, I did. as a matter of fact, can oh. I put a, a, a gold medal around my neck for interviewing? I'll well, take that, Katie Ledecky. The, the problem here is my mic is attached to the gold medal, so I got to put it to the silver medal. Okay. And then we're going to... And we're going to put you... So now, but tell me why I'm getting this gold medal. Because you're awesome. And I know it'll put a smile on your face, right? Ding! Ding! Okay, <laughs> see that's why I love, I love taking the gold medals around and showing them to kids and other people because it always puts a smile on people. Yes, because we are You know are what's easy. really cool? We okay, so you feel how heavy it is, yes. right? Everyone's always amazed at that. It also, they put the event on the edge. So oh, this is the, cool. the 1500 freestyle. 1500, like, Women's if you, 15, if it was you the put, first time it was in the Olympics. If you, And you know up. what? You're the first person other than me to put that on. <laughs> oh, snap. That's pretty cool. Exclusive for hey. Access Hollywood. Boom, boom, baby. <laughs> okay, wait. Tell, just break down for people who are like 1,500 meters. If that was on a track, that would be... It's like, a mile. It's, it's a mile. It's, a, it's uh, kind of like a mile. It's basically 1,500 meters. It's 30 laps of the 50-meter pool. Do you ever... Do, and and I, I want to be... I guess it's a, a bit of a pivot, but I'm thinking about this because like I, running a mile to me is like, mm-mm. We're not sweating that. Hey, same here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good to don't, know. Don't put me out on that's the track. That's good to know. I'm glad I'm in good company there. Uh, but, but I think about the, the moments that you might have said, I don't know if I'm going to get back in the pool. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I want to go back to the Olympics. I don't know if I want to continue competing. Have you had moments like that? Where even if, if fleeting, have you had moments where you had to kind of push past that? I think we all have those very fleeting moments. I've never had a, a lingering thought in my mind like that. I always come back to the pool. I always come back to practice and I just have, have so much joy in the pool. I mean, I'm taking a break after this. I'm, I don't know how, how long, but I say that, but I'm going to be back in the pool. Like, <laughs> I just love the water. I sleep better. I just feel better. Yeah. And so it's just a part of my life. I think even when I retire, I'm going to keep swimming. Keep swimming. You talked about going to Paris. I imagine that when the greats of the pool right, see someone like you doing as well as you're doing, people are on the phone. Like, I'm imagining Michael Phelps on the phone to you and being like, sis, <laughs> you did that. You did that. Is there a phone call? Is there a text thread? Is there a, an email between you two? Uh, yeah, I mean, he was here in uh, Tokyo, and he texted me after my race today. I mean, he's such a great friend and supporter and has been supporting our team here, and... Uh, yeah, he's. Did you tell him you're coming? He's the goat. So did you tell I mean, him you're coming for him. Did I'm you not. Him? I'm you, not coming for him. Give me the phone. Him. I'll do it. I'm not. Give coming. me the phone. I'll do it. No. No, no. Just give me the phone. No, I don't I, trust I, you. Give me my medal back. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get a phone. Like this is Katie Ledecky and Michael Phelps. I'm coming for you. It's. I mean, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. Thanks. I, I, I have heard that you and, and Simone Biles have gotten pretty close over the years, and. I, and what would you want people to know about that friendship? Like when people think about the greats of the Olympics um, of Team USA, what would you want people to know about your connection to each other? Yeah, I think we both just re really respect each other and uh, I, I am amazed at everything she's done and accomplished uh, both on the gym floor and off. And so just being on another team with her has been really special. And I haven't seen her here in Tokyo because I think they're not staying in the village. So mm -hmm. I hope I'll get the, the chance to see her at some point over the next several months at one of the Team USA functions yeah, and yeah. give her a big hug because we're, we're really proud of her. Exactly. I couldn't have said it uh, better. We're really proud of her. 
Now we're doing this thing called the Tokyo Take, and it's kind of quick. Okay. It's kind of quick. It's a, like a pop culture situation. But I okay. do, before we get to the pop culture part, I want to know, because you have so many medals. Okay. Where, are, and I know, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy. Because I got I, one on, and I'm, my whole body is sweating. Yeah. <laughs> where do you put them? How do you display them? Where are they in the uh, house? I just keep them safe. I can't tell you where. I keep them, around, you know, the first couple of months, especially after an Olympics. You keep them I, close. I, as I told you, I love showing them to people, and they put smiles on people's faces. So I keep them really close and take them almost everywhere. Okay. Like, I'll take them when I get my hair cut, when I go to the dentist. Like, all those people want to see them. Wait, so really? Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, everyone wants to see it, and they love it. So it's, it's so fun to share that with people. You got to do, like, the whole fistful. Like, oh, which one? Yeah. Which year? <gasps> Yeah. Which 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 one yeah. did you want to see? I don't know. Yeah, at some point I'll have to put them all on and take a picture. That would be cool. A hundred. If Beyonce can do it with the Grammys, you can do it with a medal. Okay. okay. Tell me this. Of all of the shows currently on the air, which one would you want to be a, a cast member of? Uh, you could be cast in any show on the air. What show would you want to be on? I love SNL. I don't know if I'm funny enough. I think you could pull it off. <laughs> have wait. Have you ever? You've never. I've, Would you be interested in hosting SNL? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that sounds like really stressful, but I mean, uh, so I would probably be more nervous for that, for that than a swim race. But I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> just asking for a friend. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. She's a big deal. I watch it every Saturday. Wednesday. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's nice being on the West Coast too, because it's not as late. So. I have Sunday mornings off. I have Sunday completely off from practice. So Saturday is my one night where I'm like, okay, I can stay up and watch SNL. And watch SNL. And it's over by 10.30 or 11. I love that West you're Coast. staying up to watch SNL. I love it. Okay, tell me this. <laughs> the story of your life certainly will be a movie. Certainly. It's going to happen. It's just, just like no. deal with it. Be okay with it. Okay. Who do you cast to play you? Oh, I have no clue. Do you have any suggestions? I'm getting... I'm getting like, a Rachel McAdams vibe. Oh, okay. I'm getting a Rachel McAdams or like vibe. Like Jennifer Lawrence, maybe. Or... I'm, I also d I dig a Jennifer Lawrence for you. Mm, I don't know. I'm, is this gonna sound? Emma Watson. I was gonna say ah, Emma. I was I like, I hate to say it, you know, because everybody's like, I would be the American story, but like, yeah, Emma Watson. <laughs> I could see it, 100. Okay. Okay. 100. Okay.